When I heard about the software called Google SketchUp, one of the first things that came to mind was, could I make an art museum with that software? Like an a infinite art museum, wouldn't that be cool? So this is what I made. I used the pencil tool over here to make this little art museum. It's a 3D art museum. I used the art from Quadro Dixon, who lives in the neighborhood. Check this out, it's a 3D art museum. Isn't this cool? And um, anybody can make something like this. It doesn't take too much skill. But wouldn't it be cool if we had the artist photo and contact info on the roof of the museum? Wouldn't that be cool? So let me see if I can do that. What we do is, like, let's, I'm using the orbit tool over here. This is the orbit tool, and this is the zoom tool. You can zoom in and zoom out. Isn't that amazing? We got the three axes here, green, blue, and red axes in Google SketchUp. And let's go back to the orbit tool. Yeah, like this a little bit. Let's see if we can add in um, a scanned, a scanned graphics with the artist here. Let's come up to File and choose Import. And I think we got it over here, Quadro Artist JPEG. Let's try that one. Yeah, I think that's what we want. So we want it here. We just have to, you have to experiment when you put it on here. We want it kind of close to the edge, but it's got to be centered. A little bit down. Okay. I'd go like this. Let's drag it on out. Okay, drag it on out like that. And be careful that you don't go over. Do you see I'm going over the edge in the top left there? I don't want to go over the edge. I just want to keep it everything inside the roof. Inside the roof. Boom. You see this got a blue line? We can make that go away. That just means that it hasn't been placed yet. We just go and choose the selector here, and let's click anywhere outside. There we are. Now we got the artist on top of the museum, the roof. Isn't that cool? Now we can look at it from any direction, like so, even underneath. And if we zoom in, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Quadra Dixon, visual artist. And then you go like this. Is it, is it, this art is just incredible. I love it. This is my favorite piece right here. I totally adore this piece right here. Let's grab the hand. We can move this over. This hand moves things over. And then let's zoom in. Is that an incredible piece or what? This guy is a majorly talented artist. And you can send him fan mail. Send some fan mail to Quadro. Quadro29 at yahoo.com. He is going to be a well-known artist worldwide with this kind of talent. And it was just a delight to build for him his own art museum. And when he came by to take a look at it, you want to hear what I said? Hey, Quadra, you want to see your art museum? He said, yeah. I said, Quadra, look at your art museum. I said, check this out. I said, there's some walls of the art museum that are empty. That means you got to go make some more art. He said, look at the empty wall in the art museum. you got to go make some more art. And do you know what he said? I'll go make some more art. Now, let's just see how it, what it looks like to, if we want to add some art right to this wall. What's the process? Go File, Import. Let's get something from the desktop. Yeah, here's, a, here's some of his art. And look what you do. You have to kind of come down here, leave a little margin, and you drag it open. Oops, I didn't, I didn't place it right. Do you see? I didn't place it right because we don't have even a left and right border. So I'm going to, let's see if I can undo, undo that import. And let's try and import it again. File, import, and um, it's on the desktop. So I have to just start. I have to start a little bit further over. Remember last time I came over here? I need to come on over here just so that it places right. I drag it open. There we are. There we are. Ooh, that's looking good. And I, may, I don't like it. Maybe I should start a little bit further down. Edit, undo. Let me try a little bit further down. Um, let's come over here to the desktop. Because I, I do want to have the full art. Yeah, let's start down here and... There we go. I'm feeling a lot better now. Now look, I didn't give it the right margins again, but that's okay. You see, it's trial and error. When you're building an art museum, there are no strict rules. You just got to do trial and error and get this art museum right. Let's try it down here. That's about right. There we go. That's a nice art museum. Then to place it, you come over here, click here, and click anywhere. Now it's placed. Now we can get the orbit tool. And we can orbit our art museum. Thank you, Quadjo. Thank you, Google. Isn't it amazing to make your own art museum? I use the pencil tool to make it, but I should tell you a little bit um, how you do this stuff. Let's make a new thing. Let's make something new. How about if we choose the like polygon tool? I've made the size. Do you see this bottom right? It says sides equals six. You can click in there. 
go like there. There's a polygon tool. They use the push-pull tool now to open it up. Do you see how quickly you can make an art museum? Use the um, bucket tool, the paint bucket. Here's a paint bucket. Web safe colors. Let's choose an art museum like uh, maybe this color here. Bam. Close it. Uh, paint it, paint it, paint it. And then you get the orbit tool. You go paint it. Uh, paint bucket. Paint it, paint it, paint it. There we are. Now, careful not to paint the top. We kind of like the white on the top. Okay? That's just my own little tip. You see? Now let's see if we can pull in some of that graphics like we did before. Import from the desktop this graphics. Maybe I should have made the art museum a little bigger. Yeah, check this out. My art museum, yeah. Maybe I should make it taller. You get the idea, right? Have some fun with this. Thank you.